Arabesque. In music, an arabesque is an ornate whimsical composition typically written for piano. To a dancer, an arabesque is a graceful pose, combining a stretched leg and raised arm, consequently creating the longest line that a human body can possibly stretch. An artist may envisage decorations based on linear patterns, such as those found in Islamic art and European art from the Renaissance onwards. Several composers, including Claude Debussy and Robert Schumann, have used this term as a title for their compositions. Let's warm up with the scale of A minor in the same key as arabesque. We'll then have a look at the relative major, C major. Here's A minor in its harmonic form. Let's begin with the first four chords. These should be piano and staccatissimo, meaning very short. Staccato simply means short and detached, but there are different degrees of shortness. This is too long. Also too long. But it can be shorter, like a dot of sound, no length at all. This not only makes the chords more exciting, but increases the silence in between, raising the anticipation. I would then practice the right hand up to bar 10. Ligero means light. Practice nice and slowly to ensure that everything is even and relaxed. Try not to accent the quaver on the second beat of the bar. It feels more natural to have the stress on the beginning of the bar. Lean, lift, lean, lift. So don't push too strongly away from the staccato note, just float up with the wrist and arm. Be careful with the rhythm. Some students play this incorrectly in the beginning, especially practicing at a slower tempo. This would be cutting the rests short. Remember there are eight semiquavers in a two, four bar. We're not playing these all the way through, but you need to hear them in your head. This will help you achieve the correct rhythm throughout. Could also demonstrate it like this. You should hear crotchets, quavers, and semiquavers ticking away like clockwork, just like this. The tympan is playing minims, flutes playing crotchets, marimba quavers, and the harp semiquavers. Try not to do this in the left hand. Just because the right hand is legato doesn't mean that the left hand is. The hands go up together on the second beat of the bar. This is the only major section in the entire piece, so try to change the character in some way. The accent in bar eight is just with the right hand, not the left followed by the sforzando in the first time bar. This should be a strong, sudden emphasis. Imagine trumpets. When repeating sections of music, try to change something. The dynamics, phrasing, or maybe the character. Repetition is boring. Repetition is boring. Repetition is boring. When learning the chords, always see how the chord you're playing relates to the previous chord and to the next chord. For example, in bars three to six, A is at the root of every chord. In bar seven, the C and E at the top of the chord are repeated from bar six. Here, G is the root of every chord.
You can also practice the left hand in block chords. This way you feel how the chords relate to one another. You can do this with the right hand at the same time. Next you can practice the middle section from bar 11 to 18. This is how the right hand notes fit in with the beats in the bar. One, two, one, two, one and two and one and two and one and two, etc. Try to keep the forte maintained in the left hand semiquavers, but once again don't accent the staccato quaver which is on the weaker beat of the bar. When playing hands together, make sure the right hand is legato. The right hand continues to sound every time the left hand comes up. Strong and authoritative on that octave interval. Try not to begin the diminuendo and round too soon here. These should be gradual and should sound natural. Don't overdo it or you'll lose the momentum and rhythmic drive. Dolce means sweetly. Try to soften the sound, keeping the left hand especially soft. The last two bars should be bold and resolute. Don't shy away from the last chord, that would be very disappointing. And here are some exercises you can use to warm up before you play. Make sure you keep your fingers, hands and arms nice and relaxed and you want the semiquavers to be nice and even. These exercises will help you to find your bearings around the piano and will also help with sections in the arabesque.